Monday was a beautiful day for Med City residents to exercise their rights. That's um, democracy in action. The ability to vote is, is one of the most precious things, you know, in the United States. Whether it's your first time filling out a ballot. Growing up, I've been told, you know, make sure you vote and voice your opinions. So that's what I did today. We managed to become American citizens in time to vote, which is a very big deal for us. Or nothing new. Find your ballot right now. This year's election is knocking voter turnout records out of the park. I think everybody's just, you know, really excited. Obviously, we have a lot higher turnout when we are talking the, the presidential term election cycle. Election officials predict 50% of Olmstead County residents are taking the opportunity of an absentee ballot. We don't want it to be intimidating for anybody. The end result is the same. You're going to fill out those bubbles on your ballot to vote for your choices. So while the process may be a little bit different, the, the end process of it is, is that same process as normal. Now, whether you're standing in line for minutes or hours, Rochester residents are getting in lines and long ones at that to make sure their voices are heard. I didn't care if the lines were long or not. So I just want to make sure that my vote does count. While the state of the world from the virus to the political atmosphere can be stress inducing. Never seen anything like this. Some feel voting is their way of taking control of the situation. Got to use my privilege to vote and voice my opinion. I mean, all we can really do is wait for the results and then go from there. Now, if you didn't get a chance to vote early, you can vote in person tomorrow at your local polling place until 8 p.m. You can find a link on where you should vote at KTTC.com. Reporting live in Rochester, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.